And everybody in the college football world is beyond shocked about this news, including myself. I think you get the point. Everybody's asking the same question. What in the crap is going on? Within 24 hours of the loss to Michigan, Alabama had not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, but 10 players leave the program and enter the portal. Well, this is definitely an interesting situation we have on our hands here, to say the least. And as an Alabama fan, I know it's been a rough past couple of days, and trust me, as an Alabama fan myself, as most of you may know, it's just been a difficult time, let's leave it at that. And for me at least, I can't speak for y'all, but it normally takes me about two to three weeks to be okay after a loss like that to Michigan. And when I say be quote unquote okay, let me elaborate a little bit and clarify on that. I still think about the losses we've had years ago even to this day. When I say be okay, I'm talking about it normally takes me two or three weeks to just stop thinking about the game and somewhat move on a little bit. And as tough as these past couple of days have been, with this news coming out, it doesn't make it too much better. Alabama has lost not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, but ten, count them, ten players in less than 24 hours. And I'll give you a little teaser, they didn't just leave for some random reason. We're going to talk all about that in today's video, and also there's a ton of crap going on in the college football world, and this is arguably bigger than the Alabama situation. Ole Miss star running back, one of the best running backs in the nation, Quinshawn Jenkins. He entered the portal. That's got everybody talking, and I'll just tell you straight up, that is an odd situation. To go along with all that, we got a couple of minor things we're going to speak on, including we got some news involving Oregon. Strap in, buckle up, get you some popcorn, get you a snack, get you a favorite meal you like to even watch a video, because trust me, I do the same thing. It's going to be a good one. But all right, Matt, blah, 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 shut the crap out. Now, 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 That's... All right, let's start off with this Oregon news first. The breaking news came out only a few hours ago that Oregon star wide receiver Tez Johnson will be returning for the 2024 season. And I don't think enough people are talking about this because in 2023, the most recent year, he had dang near 1,200 receiving yards, that's pretty good, and 10 touchdowns. I think it goes without being said, anytime you can return a wide receiver that had over 1,000 yards, that's a big time pickup. And I don't think a lot of people understand this. When you can convince a kid to come back and not go to the NFL draft who just had over 1,000 receiving yards, that is the equivalent, actually. It's better than getting a five-star recruit. Because when you get a five-star recruit, that's awesome, but how many true freshman wide receivers are going to have over a 1,000 receiving yards? So that's some good news for Oregon, but also remember, that's some really good news for the new quarterback, Dylan Gabriel. Let me know your thoughts on that down below, but moving along here to our second topic and one of the most controversial topics going on right now, Quinshawn Jenkins. He entered the portal. Now, for those of you that don't know, you should know, but if you don't know who Mr. Quinshawn Jenkins is, he was the star running back at Ole Miss. To say this young man was a beast might be understating it. And everybody in the college football world is beyond shocked about this news, including myself. It just doesn't make any sense. He's not just a starting running back. He's one of the star players on the team. So he has stability. More times than not, when you see guys leave, it's because they're not happy with playing time, but that's not the case here. And then other times when you see a starter leave, why they leave? Because their team's not that good and they want to go to an even better team. Well, that's also not the case here because Ole Miss is a top 10 team. And you also got to throw this in there. If he would have stayed at Ole Miss, he was going to be in the record books. I think you get the point. Everybody's asking the same question. What in the crap is going on? Before we go any farther with this, I need to throw this in there. The immediate reaction that everybody's had also is, oh yeah, he's leaving elsewhere to go get the bag, go get some NIL money. Well, here's the thing with that, and I can debunk that, and we'll do that later tonight in a video because I'm still talking to some of my sources, making a couple texts and phone calls. I don't think that's the reason. Like I said, I don't want to jump the horn here, but... There appears to seem that there were some things going on behind the scenes with Jukins and this Ole Miss football team. I'm 98% sure we're going to talk about that later tonight, so just stay tuned. Be on the lookout for that. This is also something for your train of thought because remember, his freshman year, he was unreal. 274 carries for over 1,500 yards. But take a look at this year. Carbon copy pace on the carries, but his yards took a huge decrease. He went from averaging 5.7 yards per carry to only 4.3. That's not that good. We'll leave it at this because we're going to move on to the main topic here. There's a lot of rumors swirling and floating around. Let me know your thoughts down below on what you think is going on. I would love to talk about that some more, but we're going to move on to the main topic of the main encore. Main reason you clicked onto this video. What in the world is going on with the Alabama Crimson Tide? Well, as we all know for starters, and I got to bring this up because it's important to our situation, 
Alabama just lost to Michigan. And I know what you're sitting there saying. Well, Matt, why is that important? What does that have to do with all these guys leaving? And it has everything to do with these guys leaving because if Alabama would have beat Michigan, they wouldn't have left. At bare minimum, they would have remained on the team until after the Washington game in the championship. But I digress, and I'm getting a little too far ahead of myself. Let me throw this number out there first. You can't make this crap up. Within 24 hours of the loss to Michigan, Alabama had not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, but ten players leave the program and enter the portal. Or why did I say leave the program? I don't know, but you get the point. They enter the portal to leave the program. They're going to leave. I'm going to show you the list right here, and you can take a look at it for yourself. And all 10 of these guys, they were all essentially four- and five-star recruits. And you'll also see a lot of notable guys on this list, and many guys that played a lot, but you'll also see a lot of guys that didn't play a lot. And obviously, the one that everybody's going to recognize the most is our center, Seth McLaughlin. You see on the list in the middle here, he's leaving. Do you really want me to sit up here and even try to act like for a split second? That is a big and detrimental loss. No, it's not. If anything, that's going to help us because hopefully our center next year, whoever it is, can snap the ball correctly. But don't even get me started on that. That's a <laughs> different rant for a different day. Another notable one that stuck out to me is our quarterback, who was also a former five-star recruit, Eli Holston. He's leaving. Him leaving makes a ton of sense, though, because you got to think about it. Milrow's coming back. Ty Simpson's coming back. I'll get to that in just a second. And also, we're bringing in five-star recruit Julian Sand. So Eli Holston is pretty much coming to terms with reality. He's not winning the starting job in Alabama. No way. Because it looks like right now what's going to happen is Jalen Miro, he's going to come back next year. And then when he leaves, Ty Simpson's going to take over and then potentially Julian Sand. Make no mistakes about it. Alabama has one of, if not the best quarterback rooms in the entire nation. So that makes a ton of sense. And another one that is shocking the Alabama fan base is defensive back Earl Little. And as to when I'm making this video, I've had some sources around Tuscaloosa tell me that the coaching staff is trying to convince Earl Little to come back next year. So we'll see what happens there. And I hope he does does come back because you got to remember we're losing Kool-Aid McKinstry top cornerback in the country and also Terry on Arnold don't get me wrong he's gonna have to battle for a starting spot but it's gonna be much easier to get more playing time next year than this year on the defensive side of the ball that's something to keep your eyes on and arguably one of the most disappointing players for Alabama this season was wide receiver Malik Benson who was one of the top rated Juco prospects last year he only had I think it was like 12 catches something like that for 163 yards and a touchdown this year wasn't too good well let's be real here Alabama wasn't some dynamic passing all offense this year and we didn't have a receiver go over a thousand yards but I also want to throw this in here remember a couple weeks ago when we were talking about Ohio State losing what was it 18 or 19 20 something guys to the portal what did I say look this is going to happen at Ohio State Georgia and Alabama everywhere it's normal although I thought it was highly concerning that Ohio State lost a lot of quality players all these big time programs are going to lose every year and we've seen in the past couple of years 15, 16, 17, 18 guys to the portal when the season ends. And I get it as a fan. It can be concerning when you see all these guys in the portal at once, but it's a new reality. So I don't think you should freak out too much if you are an Alabama fan, Georgia, Ohio State fan, a fan of any team where you have a bunch of guys leaving. Because a lot of times, same thing with Georgia a couple weeks ago when they had 15 guys leave. Uh, out of 15, maybe two of those guys actually played meaningful minutes, maybe three or four. Same thing for Alabama here. Yeah, we had 10 guys into the portal, but only about two or three of them played. And the reality of the situation is Alabama losing potentially a defensive back, a wide receiver, and maybe even another wide receiver. Not a big deal, and it's not going to affect this team whatsoever to the slightest of bits. The only reason the Ohio State one was somewhat concerning is because of Kyle McCord, okay? You got your starting quarterback leaving. That's going to affect you a lot. But as long as Jalen Milrow comes back, everything's going to be all fine and dandy, and he will be coming back. But I also want to share this with y'all involving the Alabama team, and this is somewhat shocking news. Nobody expected this to happen, but this goes to show you the culture at Alabama. Alabama's backup quarterback, who battled it out with Jalen Milrow this year, Ty Simpson, he has announced he is returning next year. Why is that shocking? Well, duh, for obvious reasons, because he's going to be the backup again next year. This doesn't just say a lot about Ty Simpson. It says a lot about the Alabama program. And here's what Ty Simpson's father told Sports Illustrated about his son returning. Quote, unquote, Ty has made his decision and his heart has always been in Alabama and he will be returning next year. I can't tell you enough how much admiration and respect I have for Ty Simpson. I love it, man. I love a man. I love a young man like this that is willing to overcome adversity and obstacles and he wants a challenge. He welcomes it in. And I don't think a lot of people understand how hard it is to just sit back and be the backup. It's hard. You got to remember, Ty Simpson was a five-star recruit. This is a man who was always the quote-unquote man, the star player 
all throughout his life. It is so hard as an athlete to accept your role as a backup, especially in college when you was, like I said, the star player your entire life. In the NFL, it's a little bit different because, dude, you're getting paid millions of dollars to be the backup. But at the college level, not easy. Not easy at all. I love that, man. And I'm not here to talk about the quarterback competition. Different video for a different day. But I did want to share that with y'all. I am really happy that Ty Simpson's coming back. Really happy and... I don't just hope it's going to pay off for him. I know it will. There's many more things we can talk about, but I got to make a couple phone calls and try to get to the bottom of this Quashawn Jokins thing. Let me know your thoughts down below. But, uh, Roman!